Nokia N93 lower block. Disassembly. You will need the following tools, the SRT6, the SS93, metal tweezers, a dental pick, a torque driver, with Torx Plus and Torx size 6 bits, a Torx Plus and Torx size 6 driver, and a DC plug. Cover all windows with a plastic film and remove the battery if it is inserted. Carefully remove the bezel, S60, with the SRT6 and SS93, and discard it. This component cannot be reused. Lift out the key mat S60 with the help of the SS93. Peel off the adhesive logo label with the SRT6. Carefully lift off the glued down bezel light to you and discard it. You can now remove the key mat. Open the SIM flap and remove it as shown. Remove the 6 Torx plus size 6 screws in the order shown. Carefully pry open the snaps of the grip pay cover with the SS93. Note how the SD bung must be moved to free all the snaps. You can now separate the grip B cover. Push out the SD bung painted. Ease out the antenna assembly with the SS93 and remove it. Its two component parts can now be separated. Hold down the antenna cover with the SS93 and lift grip B cover. Use the dental pick as shown to release the metal latches of the SDSIM support frame on both sides. Carefully lift up the SDSIM PWB module and disconnect the flex foil connector.
expand the metal latch securing the SDSIMPWB shown. And separate the SDSIMPWB from its module. Carefully lift out the camera unit. Bear in mind that the coax cables are still connected. Carefully lever up both coax connectors with the dental pick, as shown. Unlock both latches of the camera bezel assembly. These clips are very delicate and can be easily broken. You can now remove the camera bezel assembly. Unlock the metal latches of the camera sealed frame assembly and remove it. Remove the camera IFPWB module. Slide off the flexible camera cushion. Cover the lens with a plastic film. Using the SS93 as a fulcrum, pry open the connector evenly with the dental pick, as shown. This will expose a smaller connector that must also be opened. Open the adjacent flex foil connector gently and evenly. The pop port bung can now be removed. Use the DC plug to remove the DC jack. Gently unlock both snaps of the harness holder grip and lever it up and out with the SS93. Undo both Torx size 6 screws shown and discard them. You must always use new screws when reassembling. Bring the unit into the position shown. and separate the parts.
Unlock the snaps of the grip pay cover. And separate all the following parts as shown. Remove the side keys. Gently bend open the microphone clip. Never touch the exposed surface of the microphones. The disassembly procedure is now complete. Assembly. Replace the microphone clip, avoiding touching the microphones. Insert the side key mat. Place the UI frame into the grip pay cover. Bring the parts into position, as shown. Insert new Torx size 6 screws. Set the correct torque. Apply the correct torque to both screws. Slide in the harness holder grip over the harness. Place the DC jack into its housing. Locate the engine module over its studs. Close the flex connector. Carefully position and lock the connectors of the hinge cables. Connect the camera IF module. Slip on the camera sealed frame assembly and check that the latches are engaged. Put on the camera cushion carefully. Insert the assembly into the camera bezel assembly.
Now connect the camera module. See that the connectors are firmly in place. Ensure the correct positioning of the cables while placing the camera module into its housing. Slot the flex foil through the SDSIM support frame. Position the SDSIM PWB as shown. Close the flex foil connector. Position the SDSIM PWB module as shown and click the latches into place. Click the antenna cover into its place. Assemble the antenna assembly and insert it in the grip B cover. Insert the SD bung painted and swing it into position as shown. Position the grip B cover over the assembly. Insert the screws. Set the correct torque. To prevent damaging the plastic threads, first turn the screws to the left, and then tighten them in the correct order shown. Insert the SIM flap. Now put the grip C cover assembly on, beginning from the bottom. Insert the key mat ITU. Use a new bezel ITU to secure the key mat. Smooth it down evenly. Put on a new logo label. Position the key mat S60. and fix it with the new bezel S60. Complete the assembly with the pop port bung painted.
check that all joints swivel correctly. Finally, check the windows for cleanliness.